this is uh, 10.0.6 so I'm going to make a tutorial while I'm doing it so when you open it up uh, this I already have my uh, project here but let's make it do a movie okay so I don't want any theme okay so the event which event do I want to use? So I use MV4, it's fine. So it's called patch DSTT. Okay. So let's do that. So now it's blank. Now, there's many ways to uh, get the movie inside um, the working area so try not to import because it's going to take forever so what I'm going to do is it's going to drag it in so it's take faster okay so let's do where did I put mine I put all my movie and documents so the clips I want to do is DSCT so I'm going to put it over here okay so it's going to load very fast in six minutes. This is the one. This is the one that I want. Right? So I'm going to take a bit and pieces of this whole movie. So I'm going to actually I'm going to drag it all over there. What is this? I don't want from there. I want so lead so let's do this from the beginning all the way and then I drag it over there all right so if I hit the space bar okay, so today I'm gonna fix the, uh, the SD device. now right here um, it's not a system preference that I want actually I want the um, the program preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. Okay, right. I start with space bar. So I split this clip right here. So the next one I want to go. So. So what we want to do when we make a movie is that splitting, so we can cut a certain piece out of it, right? So for instance, now I'm going to split alternate B, okay? So I just use the, um, so I use alternate B, I'm going to split it, right? So alternate B, see, it's split. So now I'm gonna delete this because this tutorial is for pars for this problem only. So let's delete this one. All right. So I'll just use a normal one. Put in here. In order to speed up um, a clip like this one eight times, we need to highlight the clip and then optimize it, and then we can slide the speed over to the right to get the correct speed that we want. So, make it big 102. Okay. Actually, I don't want it. I don't want it uh, one line. Oh, that's right. All right. All right. So let's do that. Now insert at 
across dissolved. So it's going to go in there. So now we share. That's what it is. And then I want to share to uh, to file. Okay. So the format video, what you do is uh, this is 1366, so they make the resolution automatically at 1280. But yeah, it won't let me to go higher. So, they, so that's what's bad about the 10.10.6, uh, 10.0.6. 10 10 10 because either you got 1280 by 720, you cannot set the custom resolution. So that's why I rather to use iMovie 9, which is much better. See that one. All right. But anyhow, this is for 10.10. .10, so next. So I'm gonna make this one. Sixty one twenty six uh, pars OP store DSDT fix. Okay, save. So now it's going to save over there. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's close this. It's and the uh, it says share successful. So let's show it. So it's in here. Let's open it up and see how good it is. Okay, so today we're going to fix the uh, DS. So we did use a 10 before. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to make a new movie okay so always do it new oh now they said new project instead of new movie so that's fine new project so this project is going to be DSDT patching okay and automatically add across these all which I like okay so that's why no theme all right so to start a new project uh, drag the movie in there so again documents and the SDT this one right here is what I want so uh, oh you got to get new event so we have to have an event so So now you can drag it in here. All right, so you have to put into the patch the SDT. Let's swap them, okay? All right, so I'm going to take this one and drag it over. So let's do this one all the way to the end. I don't want that. I want this one over here. So you compile and we have to uh, So 
now you have to uh, sort of drag this one into here. So let's see. So I said, go up to here. Wherever you want to cut this one, split clip right here. So what is the um, on this one is this uh, shift alternate S instead of alternate B. All right. So what I'm going to do is this shift alternate S. All right. I see that. So now I want to delete this one. Out in the C. No. Ah, yeah. Delete selection. All right. So now, uh, how do you add the title? So T is over here. Right. It has to be on here. Black. All right. So now it's. So now actually I want the tile to be over here. You know. Yeah. Put it over there. All right. Now setting clip adjustment like the seven. Okay. So you can share. export movie okay but I want to export using QuickTime so let's see now with this one here uh, I can select um, and pick four all right and the option the file format is mp4 and this one I want H264 and this one is uh, 2500 actually is very good and this one I want to set my custom so this one actually is 1366 times 768 passes the screen all right, video option, main, extend it. So single pass is fine uh, for this kind. All right. So uh, where do I want to put this one in movies? That's fine. Let's try that. Okay. So save. So let's see how long this take. This is done. So we're gonna go into movies. All right, and we should see the SDT patching. That's the one we export. Let's see how good it is. Yeah, it's a lot clearer the right resolution and everything. The final um, comparison between iMovie 10.06 and iMovie 9.09 .09, so after we made two movies so let's compare the quality uh, the first one we did was uh, 
this one. So the reason is that this one was recorded screen capture at 1366. And look at the quality. And this one currently uh, render in 1280 by 720. Okay. And compared to this one, that uh, with the uh, 10.9. 10.909 and this one is set with the custom resolution and using um, look at this and this one is used with uh, 1366 by uh, 768 resolution output and H264 MP4, so it's so clear now. All right, so use nine is the best.